the hell is this? So smooth. <laughs> that tastes real good. Tasty. Sweet. Larry, what are you doing down there? Taking a leak? No. Want a split for you? Uh, no, 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 you, you guys go ahead. I'll catch up to you later. Well, I'll be done. Whatever that could be, it's mighty good. Hmm. Harry, what are you doing, eating snow? You out of your head, buddy. If this is snow, try it once. You'll find out no, good. No, I don't eat snow. Come on, give it a try. That's not snow. Try it. What the hell is it? You know, this stuff keeps bubbling out of the ground like this. There might be enough of it here that we could sell to people. Ow! scared me. Now, you shouldn't be walking around here like this. What are you doing down here? I thought you were a burglar or something. I was hungry. You were hungry. Did you see? See what? It... What's the matter with you, anyway? It was moving. You listen to me, young man. You get your butt back upstairs to bed, you understand? Don't ever pull this on me again. Now move! As a little girl, I didn't think there was anything that I liked better than ice cream. Now I'm a big girl, and I've decided there's something I like better, much better. It's called the stuff. And believe me, enough is never enough. A month ago, they acquired the chocolate chip Charlie chain of outlets on the West Coast with the intention of converting them and being in business in 60 days. After that, they'll go national. I wish to hell we knew how they make it. Yeah, we could copy it. Uh, what I meant to say is uh, we could uh, improve on it. Apparently, we've had no luck in analyzing the ingredients and no luck in getting close to anybody inside the company. That's why I've asked Mo Rutherford to come here today. Uh. Look, are you sure we want to get mixed up with industrial spies? Hey, look, I want results, and he's the best there is. And it's men like Mo Rutherford that help us stay in business. Yes, I suppose we do have to keep the world safe for ice cream. 
Hey, didn't you used to be with the Bureau? Yeah, well, at least I didn't get my ass kicked out like you did. Oh, yeah, yeah. I missed out on Abscam, DeLorean, all the good times. Yeah, well, just follow me, hot shot. Let's see if you're worth your money. Hello, oh, this is some place you got here, fellas. Mm. This is, uh, gosh, let me, uh, that's a sweaty palm. That's Ooh. two sweaty palms. Let me feel you. Ah, that's another sweaty palm. Yes, sir, hello, sweaty palm. How do you do? So tell me about the stuff. Now, look, you've been briefed on this problem. Well, not completely. I don't understand why you didn't go to the Food and Drug Administration. Well, for one reason or another, right after it was approved, most of those involved resigned. They're either out of the country or on vacation. Or they had been uh, paid off. That is the American way, you know. We've never had so much trouble getting information out of a company. Oh, don't you worry about that. Every stone wall has a chink in it. And, uh, I'll get inside there. I'll penetrate the company. I'll do some damage. And... But it's going to be expensive, believe me. Hey, look. Me. We don't want to know how you do it. Just uh, do it. I don't know. I understand. You guys don't like me. Uh, heard it on the tap there. Uh, someone said I've been fired from the FBI and that I've been uh, blackballed and that I was obscene. Uh, someone here said I was obscene. Somebody here. Who said I was obscene? How the hell did you know that? Well, while you were at the Metropolitan Opera last night, I just happened to be walking through your hotel room and I dropped this in your pocket. Huh. Oh, shit. <clears throat> well, I'll be a son of a bitch. You know, Mr. Uh... Rutherford, Mo Rutherford. Yeah. You know why they call me Mo? No, why? Because every time people give me money, I always want Mo. Well, you know, Mr. Rutherford. Yes, sir. I don't think you're quite as dumb as you appear to be. No one is as dumb as I appear to be. <laughs> Now, as I understand it, there is a certified check waiting for me with my name on it. I think the gentleman there. Oh, this fellow here. Oh, yes, look at that. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, that's, that's good enough for starters. Asshole. Uh, when you talk to the FBI, would you tell them this for me? Oh! Oh, broke his jaw. Uh, help. Uh, thanks for the job, gentlemen. Will you go up and tell your brother to get on down here? Oh, come on. My cereal's going to get soggy. I'll get him when I'm done. Do as I tell you and do it now. Uh, maybe his alarm didn't go off. Yeah, well, he was up running around in the middle of the night. No wonder he's exhausted. You tell him he's not missing school today. I don't care what his excuse is. Hi. There he is. Well, what do you want for breakfast? Nothing. I'll scramble with you over easy for you. Well, uh, my stomach doesn't really feel too good. Yeah, well, it sure felt good at 4 o'clock this morning. Listen, young man, you've missed three days of school already. I don't want you missing any more, you understand? I don't know what your plans are today, but you're not about to miss any more days. Let me have someone I'll finish with my cereal. Sure. Good for you. No! Don't eat that! There's nothing wrong with it. I had some last night. I'm telling you, it isn't good. It's spoiled. It doesn't taste spoiled to me. Here, you taste it and tell me if you think it's spoiled. I don't want any. Look, it moves around all by itself. It moves. I saw it moving the refrigerator. Hey, freak, what do you want, anyway? Jason, you come back here. You know, I hope these stains come out. What the hell's the matter with that boy, anyway? Look at that, not a spot. Low in calories, good tasting, and it doesn't even spot. And he doesn't like it. Nothing like it around. Coupled with benign bacteria? That was probably just a... Lucky accident that tasted great. They seem to reproduce this accident in great quantities. Well, 
That's what I don't understand. I thought there was some government regulation that requires them to reveal the contents. They're protected by the FDA statute of identities rule. The same law protects Coca-Cola, secret formula for their syrup. Gentlemen, the little lady entering the room now is doing some undercover research for me. Because, folks, if we're going to find out secret formula stuff, we're going to have to steal it. A little faster pace, OK? Let's get a little movement into this. Step, step. Let's see the bathing suit. OK, I want wonderful smiles. You've got that, Hoppy? Is it good? OK. Now, I want you to feed each other the stuff, both with nice smiles on your face. Pearl and Kathy did a slightly tighter shot of them when, when we do it, all right? Can we move in? Just a little bit, yeah. As they come forward, you move in a little bit. Hoppy, you all right? You get it? Going for a close-up of the faces of the next two, because they're real beauties. Now, take a bite. Let me see how much you love it. Ooh, Very good. Thanks, girls. OK, Christine, by yourself. Right on the lens, right to the lens, right here. Very good. Now, I'm going to want you to go in for a tight close-up as she feeds the camera. What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Uh, Who the hell are you? Five minutes. I got to talk to Miss Kendall about her employment and about this job and everything. So you all can break hoppy. You can, you can take off with that. Kill the lights and the sound. You got that? OK. What now, I'm sorry. Uh, listen, I'm sorry to interrupt you like that, but I can't wait in line. I can tell right now that you're not the type of person to wait in line either, are you? I mean, um, you didn't get where you are now by waiting in line, did you? How do you know that story? Well, I know that story, because that's the way I got where I am, uh, where I am today. And, and here I am with you, and uh, you're awful pretty. David Rutherford? Mo. My friends call me Mo. Uh, they call me Mo, because every time they give me something, I always want Mo. <laughs> and I suppose uh, you wonder what I want out of you, huh? Yes, I'd like to know what this was all about. I want to put you on our public relations campaign, but uh, I need you uh, not just to raise the image. You've got to convince the public that Lee High Petroleum has the public's interest at heart. Oh, but why me? Well, I mean, uh, look what you did for the stuff. You, you invented the name, like, as I understand oh, yes, it, absolutely. and uh, you created the image and put the whole sales pitch together. That's why I don't have a lot of time for petroleum companies, you know? Well, now, darling, I'm not here to hire your agency to work for us. I want to buy your agency and put you in charge. Oh, oh, um, I want to buy the agency and make... That clarifies things. Will you just, um, sit right there just one second? Mitzi! Mitzi! I want you to check out this guy in the card thoroughly and then get back to me. I want you to cancel my dinner date and I want you to go get me a dress to wear. No problem. Right away, Miss Kim. So, you were saying. I do like to see a woman with decision. Pick your favorite restaurant. Mm, where are you staying? Sherry Netherlands. Do they have room service at the Sherry Netherlands? <laughs> Uh, my limousine's just outside. So is mine. I bet mine's bigger than yours.
Mr. Vickers. I called you about an appointment. Oh, sure, the man from Consumer Magazine? Oh, that's right. Well, come on. Is he friendly? He's absolutely harmless. How old is he? One year. One year old? He's awful big. I feel him very well. Can I get you a drink? Oh, no, thanks. I'm off that now. I'm not glad to hear that. Liquor can't kill you. It ought to be outlawed. Uh, Mr. Vickers, how long have you been with the Food and Drug Administration? Almost 19 years. Yeah, pretty soon they'll be retiring me. And as I understand it, you were uh, part of the team that tested and approved a product called The Stuff. Oh, they didn't have a name for it then. But they sure merchandised the hell out of it. But we all agreed it's a good product. How long was it tested before you proved it? You've got to understand that this is a dessert, not a prescription medicine. Not any different from yogurt or ice cream. Hey, what's in the stuff? I mean, what's it made out of? How's it made? What was your name again? Rutherford? Rutherford. Mo Rutherford. See, I hope, well, look, I, I hope you're not going to tell me now that there's been some trouble. I mean, someone's allergic to it. Well, that would upset you, wouldn't it? Look, all we can do is look uh, for something common to most people. Now, if there is no reason to forbid the use of a product, then we have to okay it. And, and, and in this case, uh, it was, in this case, it was, it, it was a pleasure. It was an absolute pleasure because I love it. I love it. Oh, well, yeah. you eat the stuff? All, all the time. I feed it to Ben. Ben has some. You feed the dog? Absolutely. Stuff? Ben eats it all the time. Right, Ben? Well, I, I, I suppose if uh, both of you eat it, it's, it's, it's got to be all right. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Huh? But I understand that you're not actually a chemist, Mr. Vickers. No, no, I, I, I'm an administrator. But, uh, but I can give you the names of some of the people on the panel. Oh, well, I tried that already, and for some strange reason, they're all out of the country or they're deceased. What a shame. Yeah. Say, uh, where did you test the stuff? Stater. Stater, Virginia? I still have some old preliminary worksheets at my office upstairs. Maybe you should look at them. Nothing, uh, nothing, uh, nothing confidential. I'd appreciate that. You know, and I'll Xerox them and send them right back to you. And you know you're lucky. I never throw anything away. Why is your master afraid of you? You hungry? You need something to eat? Come on, let's go to the kitchen. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have offered you a cup of coffee or a nice uh, soft Well, I, I felt like a glass of water, but I'm not thirsty anymore. Yeah, these are some of my old documents. Just oh. a lot of old names. Yeah, well, thanks very much. I appreciate it. It's my pleasure. <laughs> I'll uh, get copies to this uh, as soon as possible. Uh, take your time. Yeah. Goodbye, Ben. You've been a good boy, Ben. I've got a tree for you. In fact, I have a tree for both of us. We deserve it, don't we? Oh, my God! 
Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. What can I do for you? Fill her up. Fill her up. Uh, there's nice clean restrooms out there if you want to. I must have taken the wrong turn off here somewhere. Uh, this is Stater, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, I guess I know somebody here. I can't remember his name. Uh, Melville. You mean old Harold? He moved out. They're just about all moving out of here. There's nobody here but you? Well, don't you want to wash your hands or something? I put in a new towel. Could you stop that at $20? Uh, OK, yeah, sure. Do you recognize that car down there? I know. Well, ain't that a novelty? Two strangers in one day. Chocolate Chip Charlie. Well, I sure as hell ain't the Kentucky Colonel. Get off well, of me. Uh, I'm sorry. What, the, what are you doing down here in a town like this? Big executive like you. I'm trying to find out something about the son of the bitches who stole my company out from under me and threw me out on my beautiful black ass. You work for them, huh? I'm investigating them, same as you are. Yeah, those shits. Somehow, man, they got to my asshole brother and my two idiot nephews and everybody else I trusted would stop. And they brainwashed them, man. Next yeah, thing I, I knew, they was in and I was well, out. Yeah, OK, Charlie. Well, now, did you, did you find anything out? What you going to find out, man, in a town that has just been dried up and blown away, man? It must be a side effect of eating too much dessert and urge to migrate. Well, there's a widespread urge of that around here. I might have gone along with the idea they didn't have to steal my company. Yeah, but these guys don't like having partners, Charlie. Yeah, and I figured if there was a mafia front, I'd get back at them, expose them, and then get my company back. But how did you find this out of the way place? Oh, those damn relatives of mine again. After they voted me off of the board of directors, you know what they did? They hid out from me, man. They just disappeared because they knew I'd kill them. And then they left this, this place here as a forwarding address. A forwarding address? Yeah. Well, that's a post office. Where does all that mail get rerouted to? Well, to the to these people, the addresses they left behind. Uh, but I don't, I don't see that any uh, uh, interest uh, to you. Midland, Georgia, Midland, Georgia, Midland, Georgia. A whole lot of folks have relocated to Midland, Georgia, man. All right, it's dinner time. But now, why don't you just close up shop and we'll uh, take care for about to eat? I've eaten already. Uh, Midland, Georgia, huh? They all went there, and you stayed here. Go away. Leave us alone. What do you mean, us, man? We're talking to you. Ain't nobody else in this place, is there? Because uh, all we see is you and the gas station man, and now he's gone. We're not bothering anybody. Excuse me. I'll be right back. What do you think, Charlie? The man is not in proper operating order. Absolutely. I'd like to take him someplace and get him x-ray. Yeah, but what if he doesn't want to come along with us? But we snatch him. Oh, now, Charlie, I run a high-tech operation. I don't go in for things like that. I got a few low-tech solutions for our problem. We hit that sucker over the head. Oh, well, um, we can do that. We throw him in the trunk of the car. We can do that, too. And we take off. Yeah, but whose car?
Uh, I'll be right there, baby. Hello? Okay, lethal hands. Kill the door. Watch out for spinners. I always not push. thinking about going after it. I hope you got a gun on you, Charlie. How many times must I tell you my hands are lethal weapon? Yeah, I hope you're right, because if that thing tries to kill me, you kill me first. Hey, wait, wait, wait. We are not alone. The only thing Chopper Chip Charlie knows better than fighting is running. Pick a direction. You got a cup of coffee for me? Oh, damn. Oh, you're a pretty thing. Look at her. Isn't she pretty? Mm -hmm. You know, every time I feel like eating, I think of that guy with the mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, no, right off my stomach. Me too. <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, waitress, you got any good chocolate chip cookies? Sure do. Oh, my. You got any of the stuff? Wish I did. I can't get it. It's on order, though. Charles? You and I are going to have to split up. Uh, you sure you no longer need my iron fists? I want you to go to Washington, D.C. and see Special Agent Frank Herbert. He won't believe me. Maybe he'll believe you. Ah, uh, Frank Herbert, the FBI. I got you. <laughs> uh, here you go, honey. Thanks a lot. Hey, uh, fellas, any of you guys going down Route 105 to give a guy a lift? Yeah, I'm just about done. Oh, good. Thanks very much. Is your friend coming with you? Oh, no, he's got other business. Charlie, remember where you are. Well, you distribute it. You know what it is. You put it in the stores and the supermarket. I know what it is. Don't be ridiculous. I don't know what it is. Anybody know what it is? Anybody know what it wants? And those who will take a critical mass of it, to them, why, it's everything. When those people that discovered it and they came here and brought it to me first, they were already addicted. 
They were compelled to find somebody like me who could, who could market it in tens of millions. But that was long before you test marketed the product in Stater. So where did it all start? Everyone in Stater went to a little town called Midland, Georgia. Now, your conglomerate owns a mining company in Midland. Let go of it, Mr. Rutherford. Can't stop it. I can shut you down. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I really don't know. I don't think anybody paid too much attention to a disreputable character like you. You're a rogue. You're a crook. In the pay of the ice cream companies, you just start trying to screw the competition. I could always kill you. <laughs> well, you could come to work for me. Let me show you something. I got a little uh, envelope here for you in anticipation of your arrival. See what you think of that? A thousand dollar bills? Mm -hmm. About 25 of them? Hey, right on. It's also the first draft here of a contract to uh, supervise our security here. You do know who I am, don't you? I don't have to eat the stuff, though, do I? I, I really would like to leave that to the stuffies. It's not your fault. It is my fault. I invented the whole campaign that made it so popular. You think you're the only something? person that ever did anything wrong? No, I know. I'm not the only person that ever did anything wrong. It's just that I... Do you want to trade <laughs> sins, Miss Kendall? All right, I'll... I'll trade a sin with you. I am not an oil millionaire. I'm an industrial saboteur. <laughs> Why don't you just call the FBI and tell them what you know? I haven't got any credibility with the Bureau or any other federal agency of that matter. I was one of them. They kicked me out. Um, what about Ralph Nader or, or somebody like that? Oh, I got like a bad that. name with him, too. A couple of motor car companies hired me to discredit consumer groups. I did too good a job. But if you've got proof, I then we've got to go proof. to somebody in touch. I got no proof at all, and that's why I got to go with the fa to the factory with you tonight to get proof. Yeah. Tonight? Yeah. Uh, you seen this? Oh, uh, uh, Doc, this is Nicole. Pleased to meet you. Some kid on Long Island sure as hell doesn't like the stuff for breakfast. Went bonkers in a local supermarket. Let's see that kid. Honey, I'll see you at the airport tonight. What? Doc, would you uh, see uh, Miss Kendall home, please? David. Great taste for today. Tastes great every way. Can't get enough of the stuff. The stuff. The taste that makes you hungry for more. Enough is never enough. The stuff. Taste that delivers. Enough is never enough. The stuff. Flat on ABC's Nightline. Hey, I'm up here, you know. A phenomenon not confined to individuals. Entire families have been reported missing. Just these disappearances are approaching life. epidemic proportions. Tonight on ABC's Nightline, Is that dinner? Oh, we're dieting. I've lost five pounds already this week, and I've never felt better. Why are you talking like you're on a commercial? Here, Jason. Take some. You know what I said about that. That was the truth. And you know that there is something alive in there. Jason, I mean, there's something alive in yogurt. It's called benign bacteria. Yes. I mean, there's something alive in a loaf of bread. It's yeast. I mean, that's a living organism. Mm -hmm, we yeah. eat plenty of things that are still alive that are good for us. I know that, but that was moving. All microorganisms move, Jason. I mean, if you could see them with the naked eye. Yeah. I mean, under a microscope, you can see them move. So what's the difference? That they're good for us, Jason. 
after they kill the bad things inside us. He's just a baby. Always afraid of everything. Get him. you love this house, Jason. That's why we bought it. What about your new room? We got you everything you asked for. Are we asking you for so much? You always get everything you want. Become a part of the family again. Dad say stay upstairs and eat it? He was right. I tried some of it and he was right. Hey, that's mine. Sure. Hey, Dad. Jason loves it. Jason always did have a hell of an appetite. Why don't you have some more, Cal? Still working on this one. Then I'll have some more. Uh -oh. Books off the table, glasses off. As a matter of fact, I'll take a whole bunch of it up to my room. Just in case I get a little bit hungry. I never get tired anymore. We don't get tired now that we've been eating properly. I know. I'm sorry. I mean, That's all I just right. ate shaving cream. Everybody has to eat shaving cream once in a while. You feeling a little better? 
Would you open the window now? Open the window? Mm-hmm. All aboard for Georgia. Wait a minute, David. I mean, what, what? Any more passengers? We all set to go. Well, we got this ex-con here. Wow. Never been in a plane like this before. Midland, Georgia. Fletcher's conglomerate that distributes his stuff owns mines and quarries all around here. There's got to be a connection. Thank you. Very nice flight. Are you Miss Futterman? Yes, I am. Very nice to meet Very you. Very nice to meet you, too. When he wakes up, you keep him entertaining. If we're not back in three hours, you take him to Savannah Airport and wait for instructions. I hope you don't mind my bringing my male secretary, Roger, along. He's so creative. I'm Elliot Howard. I'm the chief of public relations down here. Very nice to meet you. Uh, this is my partner. Uh, my name is Michael Grimsby. Grimsby and Howard. Howard and Grimsby. Oh, yeah. Didn't you gentlemen ever uh, live in a town of state at one time or another? Uh, how do you know that? Well, well that's I, why the that's... original tests were done by the Food and Drug Administration, mm -hmm. isn't it? I guess, ma'am, that's how we heard about it. I had my own business down there, but I gave it up to join the firm. Uh, we, we were both convinced that uh, this is the product of tomorrow. Look at those tall stacks. All full of stuff, huh? Thank you for the wonderful job you people have been doing down on Madison Avenue. Oh, it's very easy to sell a product when people like it so much. Yes, we like it ourselves. Sometimes it's tough to keep the workmen from eating up all the profits. I bet. Shouldn't be shooting pitches here. Mm. Smile. This is very, very interesting, Mr. Cassidy, but I think that what we'd really like to see is uh, the room where they put all the ingredients together. You know, where they mix the stuff. Oh, no, that's a state secret, ma'am. We're very tight on that subject. Now, Mr. Cassidy, I intend to bring an entire crew down here from New York and shoot a commercial using all the people who really work here at the factory. Maybe even you, Mr. Cassidy. Oh. Ready to move. 
move out at 9.15 p.m. All personnel are restricted to the factory grounds until morning. No passes are valid. Get you in the morning for a little breakfast and bring you on back here. Seems you gotta eat enough of it before it starts taking control of your mind. And like anything else, some people are more susceptible than others. Jason's in Savannah, Georgia by now. Oh, I'm going to collapse the minute I hit that pillow. Oh, no, sure. I'm glad you gave us a joining room, because she likes to dictate right in the middle of the night. No, and she looks after my shorthand and my hunt and my peck. Andre's exclusive continental restaurant, which caters to only the most discriminating clientele. How's the food, sweetheart? Rotten. That's nice. Where's the stuff? The stuff is here now. Great new day sensation. Light and free now. But to elevation. Enough is never enough. Enough is never enough of the stuff. The stuff. The taste that makes you hungry for more. The stuff, taste that delivers. Enough is never enough. Enough is never enough of the stuff. Getting that truck a hot wire. What if somebody reports the truck stolen and then we're arrested? Why are we just telling that fella tried to kill us? Oh, where are we going? We're going back to the factory. We're going to take our own guided tour. Where 
Where are they going at this hour? Good time to travel when you don't want to be seen. Let's find out where they're going. Can't go much further with this damn thing. It's making too much noise. What's that light up ahead? What the hell are they doing? That stuff comes right out of the center of the earth. And straight into our supermarkets. You mean they don't process it or, or, or manufacture it at all? No, they siphon it right off and into the trucks. And the only way I can prove that is go down there and steal one of those trucks. You can't do that. This place is wide open. They're going to see you. Not if I have this on. Oh, no wonder you saved that thing instead of my pocketbook. Board and meet me at Route 5 near the parkway. All right? You gonna be all right? No, I'll be fine. This is my business. You look kind of cute in this thing. Yeah? I do love encouragement. It's coming down in great mass tonight. Well, what are you waiting for? 
Jason? Get out of there. Hey, what are you doing there? buried for long. They'll dig it out again. Oh, boy, I never thought I'd be glad to see cops. Well, they control the factory in the surrounding area. Don't you think they control the police, too? The whole damn quarter is full of the police. There are dozens of them. They're all stuffies. hang out back there. Uh, you gonna arrest me for indecent exposure? Get your hands up where I can see him, and come on down out of the truck. Get over there. Get your hands up. Go ahead. Do I have to put my hands up, too? I mean, aren't you gonna shake me down? OK, miss. You come down out of the truck, too. It seems we've sprung a leak. It's a shame all that stuff is going to waste. I gotta go get some. Let's go get Officer, some. Sir, I'm so hungry. You know how it is. You get so hungry if you go without the stuff for more than an hour or two. I bet you're hungry, too, aren't you, Officer? You're a hungry guy. God, I'm so hungry. Come on, Officer. Fake eating it. Officer, it's so good. I'm sure you want some, don't you? Ah, uh, it's great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like hey, look, there's a town up ahead. I'm going to bypass it. It's too small. They probably control it, and we'd never get out of there. Then where do we go, David? We go to a large city, and they can't control it. We'd have a chance. I know the man who lives here. I know everything about him. He doesn't know me. Wait here. Reporting to Colonel Spears. Who are you? 
Well, I once worked for a man named Hoover, and uh, he once ordered me to put some taps on an apartment that you rented for a 17-year-old black chick. And I, I, I wish I'd brought along the tapes, because then I could prove to you that I really am who I am. You're not with the Bureau anymore. Oh, no, 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 no. They canned me uh, just before they mailed those tapes to your wife. I could toss you off this tower. You'd land right about there. You're a trespasser. Well, you see, Colonel, you know, I, I only told you about the tape so I could get up here to see you, because I need you. You know that the whole country needs you? Now, you wouldn't be trying to lie to me or deceive me or entrap me. Yeah. You, you, you remember, you, you were worried about the commies putting fluoride in our water system. Mm -hmm. oh. Now, you know, there's, a, there, there's a, a thing going on now that's a lot worse. Americans are being poisoned faster and quicker than you can imagine. Poisoned? Yeah. The FBI, you know, they always worried about commies getting, getting these deep cover agents and putting them into high positions in American industry. Then they'd acquire a corporation, right? And then they'd establish themselves and they'd work on us. Sounds like one of my radio speeches a year ago last Thanksgiving. You were a deep prophet. A product is being sold now and it's being consumed by tens of millions of people. And it contains a mind-affecting drug in it. And you and I are going to know who they are. And they're doing it. Oh, yeah, their headquarters, they're less than 100 miles from here. Sons of bitches. The phone that. Yeah, I guess they, they forgot about uh, Colonel Spears, huh? They didn't know you were around and that you had something in you and you could want them to bring to their knees, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Young man, you come with me. We're going to have a nice, tall, cool drink. What, are you in the Army or something? We are your only Army, son. So this is the young lady who's going to go with us. Well, she's familiar with the plan. She's been inside. She can guide us. You can ride up with me. Oh, well, that's going to really be an honor, Colonel. Well, I know. That's why I asked you. And after this mission, you can reward me in a suitable fashion. Oh, uh, Colonel, I, I think you're moving in on my lady. Well, I wouldn't worry about that, son. You'll probably be a casualty. You know that uh, missing truck? I see it coming down the road right now. No, I can't see who's at the wheel. Hey! Found this here truck down by Highway 12, abandoned. Kind of figured you might uh, give us some kind of cash reward for bringing it back. Yeah, okay. Move it on in. Oh, come on. Move it on in. Not till we talk about money. Yeah, it's all settled. Oh. I gotta like the sight of blood. Well, this is disgusting. Outsiders are entering the factory area. Do not resist them. Follow the agreed upon course of action. Repeat. Follow the agreed upon course of action. Where the hell are these yellow belly sons of bitch and stuffies? Come on! Take out behind that truck! Get them in up on the tower! Not there, no! Stuffy sons of bitches! That's right, Colonel, you tell them! Let's go have a look inside, guys.
No show of resistance. They may not be armed, sir. Doesn't matter if they are armed. There is no match for the American boy. We have never lost a war. What about Nam, sir? We lost that war at home, Sonny. They may have run out of us. The yellow sons of bitches. They took their own lives. Commie bastards, you cheated me. It's still warm. This must have just happened. Must have issued suicide capsules. Ready for us. Standard KGB procedure. How about you, FBI? You ever seen anything like this? <laughs> no white stuff in this son of a bitch. Whatever was inside of them must have just taken off. I you want to, to see you. I want to see this. No, we have I don't to go want to go. I want to see You have to protect the young lady, Trooper. How do you get out of here? Come to the end. Take a left. Thanks. Come on, come over here, boy. Come on, come on, move. You think you, with these guns you got in your hands, you think you can shoot anything you don't like? Well, what if what you don't like is inside you? How are you going to shoot it? two radio stations down in Atlanta. We're gonna fly down there. We're gonna broadcast a warning. We're gonna tell the public what this stuff can do. Seventy-five, eighty, ninety percent of the people in this world don't like me. No. No matter what I do, I give my body, I give my soul. And they still don't like me. They don't you. like me. They never have liked me. When I was a boy, I was always the biggest and toughest and strongest and smartest and best looking. See, they want to see somebody who's lily-livered and weak and spineless, just like they are. Ain't that right, FBI? So anyway, I'd like to know if there's something you can do to help me change my image. Now, Colonel, I think she can change your image like that. You sold them that white shit. Why can't you help sell them me? Come on, gorgeous. I should have taken you into combat years ago. What is this, World War Three? Just get us to Fourth and Main right away. No more of your liberal remarks. Issue a 10% tip. Get a cash receipt. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Proceed sir. to the main lobby. We will reassemble. 
Report! Sir, our affiliates in the Beach, Florida, Memphis, and Macon, they've all agreed to carry your remarks in full. Buy clearances on as many stations as you can. Try the network affiliates, make it worth their while. What's on our station now? Just the local sports, and then a tribute to Elvis. Can't get enough of the stuff. The stuff, the taste that makes you hungry for more. Get that shit off my station! Get it off! You can't write this. What? Well, you say that you, uh, you're partly responsible for the whole thing and that you promoted reckless advertising. Well, that's the truth, isn't it? Well, what do you want to wreck your career? I mean, you can be idealistic, but don't be stupid. I mean, this is... Well, I thought maybe I'd let you support me for a while. Support you? Well, well yeah, you do make money at the things you do. Well, uh, you know, when I blackmail people, I do. Get these gone two out of my way before I'm forced to lay them on the whisk. Get out of here. Don't you know who I am? I am Chocolate Chuck Charlie. My hands are registered with the Midland Georgia Police as lethal weapons, and I eat them guns for breakfast. The American people are being poisoned by a popular dessert product known as the stuff, right? If you have this food in your possession, do not eat it. Good. If you are a merchant, then you, uh, what is get that? Out of the way. Sell it, sell it, we're not so sell get, it. Oh, get, get, just get, get out of there. That's all, he's all right. Charlie, how are you? How you doing, doing David? My man, how you, you doing? Hey, Good. David, man, they tried to get yeah. to me three or four times. They tried, yeah, but I just so pushed out right, the hole. But, but how did you find us? Well, you got time for a long drawn out story? No, I don't. But well, you know, I never did hear from the FBI. You are uh, not gonna do a program on this subject without the participation of Chocolate Chip Charlie. Because oh, they stole my company oh, out from under me, man. No, you know that. I got a right to be heard. That's a good idea. That's a great no, that's idea. A great yeah. idea. Oh, great. Of course, they might figure I'm lying. You know, they might figure I'm trying to knock the competition, you know. You know how often it's easier to believe lies than the truth, mm -hmm. Charlie. You are really welcome. I'm Nicole, the queen of the ex liars. Eight so. minutes to air time. Who is this? Well, he's on the broadcast. Not on my station. Hey, are you really Chocolate Chip Charlie? Nah, it's nice to see that somebody still likes me, and the answer is that I am just plain old Charlie W. Hobbs, a private citizen who wants to make a public statement, and you are not going to keep me off of those microphones, uh, Colonel, even with all your stooges in a funny costume. Uh, did you realize how many people love Charlie as much as Jason does? 20 million. Yeah, 20 million people. In advertising money, how much is that? An extra 20000 a minute, probably. And if you want to throw away all that money, you go right ahead. I will permit this colored man to speak. But speak one word of the commie party line, or one word in code, and I will blow his head off. <laughs> Look, can I go somewhere to get my thoughts on the next Okay. Next okay. Oh, we'll get some plot outline, and then we'll be back in the room. We don't have a lot of time, so are you prepared to say on the air that you've actually seen people devoured by the stuff? Oh, hell yes, and what's worse, I've seen what's left of them when the stuff gets through and comes back up. You want to run that by me again? I've seen what's left when the stuff gets through with them and, and comes back out. It sort of vacates the premises when it's through. How? Oh, uh, I'm... I'm sorry. I mean, what am I asking you for? How would you know? Oh, I know. Oh, Charlie. Charlie, are you all right? Charlie, are you, are you all right? What's the matter? Come on, Jason. 
We'll never get the clearances again. Ladies and gentlemen, from Atlanta, Georgia, this is a broadcast of warning. This is not fiction. This is not a dramatization. My fellow Americans, this is Colonel Malcolm Gromit Spears. I have never misled you, and I will never mislead you. Tonight, America is in grave danger. We are under alien attack by a substance which represents itself as a popular dessert known as the stuff. If the stuff is in your house, do not eat it. Repeat, I mark you, do not eat it. If you are a merchant and have it on your shelves, do not sell it. If you happen to have a distributorship and you distribute this material, close your doors, make no more sales. Uh, now, if a member of your family is dependent on this product, get them to a hospital. And if you have this product in your home, cook it. I repeat, cook it. And the people did believe. In the weeks that followed, the stuff was withdrawn from distribution and the nation mobilized to collect it and destroy it. Across the nation, violent action has been taken against the stores and franchises that carry the stuff. Local authorities caution the public to remain calm. Upon reports that the product was toxic, public health officials visited the quarry in Midland, Georgia, only to find it buried in a mass of rubble. And no off a teleprompter because I, I simply didn't know what to say. And the fact of the matter is, is that I'm selling you an apology. I'm sorry. She is a pretty thing, isn't she? Well. Well, you, uh, you here to throw my money back in my face? Uh, no, I spent it. You think by dynamiting one quarry you could shut us down forever? Don't you realize that stuff seeps up through the earth in many places? Well, I guess we'll just find those places. I'm afraid I'm uh, not alone tonight, Mo. I suppose you've spent my money as well, eh? You two, you're in business together now, right? <laughs> it was inevitable, wasn't it? Now, the stuff is finished, of course. But look here. Look at the new campaign for the taste. Only 12% of the stuff in it, just enough to make the public crave for more. And the balance is natural dairy products. There won't be enough of the stuff in it to, to get a grip on anybody's mind, to take over. Oh, well, uh, how do you know? Well, we tested it. We tested it in a small Illinois town. Well, if you tested it, then you can taste it. Oh, you go too far. I didn't come alone here either. I brought along a couple friends. Jason! This is no place for a kid, Mo. Oh, he ain't a kid anymore. The stuff took away his parents and took away his brother. You said you brought another friend? Yep. Him. No, no, no. Put that away. You wouldn't Sit use right. it in front of the boy. Like you said, I've been through a lot. Well, you sit right now. Yeah. Have yourself a seat. Go have a little dinner. Come on. Jason, serve the gentleman. Pleasure. You recognize that, don't you? No, wait. What? Yeah, make a big old mountain of it right in front of them. Here. Yeah, it's passed right on down. And dig in yourself. What? Uh, look, I, I had nothing to do with it. I didn't. See this hole here? It's getting bigger and bigger, isn't it? So you better eat that, or you're going to eat this. 
Eat it! How much of it? You eat as much of it as I want you to eat until I tell you to stop. It's coming out of your eyeballs. Eat it. You too, partner. Eat it. Mmm. Mmm. Are you eating it? Or is it eating you? Here they come, right on schedule. I guess we did it, Mo. never enough.